But dude. that's what I was saying. I had the convers- I had this conversation with this white guy today. Very smart dude. And um, I asked him, I said, who do you think is smarter, Albert Einstein or Elon Musk? Elon Musk, whatever his name is. Elon, Elon Musk. I forgot to say it. But who do you think is smarter? He said, Eli. I'm like, why? He's like, because he he learned everything that Albert Einstein knows and more. I said, no, that's not smarts. That's intelligence. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not intelligence. That's education. You know what I'm saying? When you're truly smart, it doesn't matter what you're learning. You're picking it up. That's what they call IQ. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Intelligence. That's real intelligence. He says the difference between intelligence and smarts. I said, only when you're talking about like machines and shit. Yeah. You don't call it a smart and smart machine. You call it artificial intelligence. Yeah. To me, there's a difference between being smart like that and then being somebody that just able to really that means somebody that picked up what you learned from from history. Like I'm not necessarily smarter than my father. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I might know more information than he did at my age. Yeah, but he may be more experienced than you. And he may be able to pick up on it quicker and, 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 and you know, soak it in better than me. Yeah. Like, I, I I used the analogy about Muhammad Ali. I said, even though Muhammad Ali wasn't privy to, you know, all the technology, all the supplements and everything that people have now, they're the boxers. He's still the greatest of all time. Mm-hmm. Because his level peaked at a level far beyond his competition to, to where... He didn't need all of this shit to get it done the way that he did it. Yeah. Just imagine if he had that. Yeah, that's where he would excel to. Right. I I think I think being able to to further elaborate on your common sense makes you smart. You True. know what I mean? True. So it's like if you know not to do something or you know that if you did something your 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 way of thinking wouldn't just stop right there. You'd be like, okay, well, what if I did this? And then the furthering of that, you know what I mean. So right. the further you go with it, you'd be like, okay, then you then the more the more knowledge you obtain of a certain thing, and then it's right. like people think that, oh, well, I know all the presidents from uh, from front to beginning. Okay, right. that's just memory. It has a lot to do with uh, interest too. True. What are you interested in? Yeah. Like, like, I can go. I hate reading. I lo- no, no, I got something to say about that too. But look, I can go tomorrow and teach a motherfucker how to sell crack. Can Elon Musk do that tomorrow? Nah, because he he don't. He's know. not experienced in that field. He's not experienced in that field. He wasn't forced to learn this shit. Yeah. He 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 wasn't taught that at an early age. Like, I could go. 20 years without selling crack and still show you how to do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's, it's like um, back to the reading thing. Do you know, would you say Freeway Ricky Ross is a smart man? Yes. Okay, me too. I would say he's a fucking genius. Yes, you know he, he? You know he did all of that drug selling Got millions of dollars in the game without even knowing how to read. Yeah. Because if I told you somebody because, don't know how to read, you'll say that was a dumbass. Yeah, because he he furthered his common sense. Right. Common sense told him if he mixed this and mixed this and did this, this is the result that you get. Instinct, man. Now Try what? A, now what if I out. further that? Right. You know what I mean? Right. So. Okay, I made ten thousand dollars today, or right. I made a thousand dollars today. I make ten thousand dollars tomorrow if I did this. Right. Let me try this. Let me do this. Let me. Okay. Boom. 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 So right. he doing. He took one thing, elaborated, and now he's doing ten things. Right. I saw. Um. I was watching this one podcast, and it was talking about um, black athletes just being superior. Just like genetically, we just superior in a lot of ways. Yeah, we got like and an extra tendon, and yeah, like and we just just we got like longer femur bones, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Just denser bones, which is different. Now, um, I was reading the comments, and a lot of white dudes was mad about this. They was like, "Yeah, they they're more athletic, 
and they can strike better than us, but we're smarter than them. I said, no, 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 that's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's absolute bullshit, and I'm gonna tell you why. He says absolute. That's absolute bullshit. Now, look, if you like, let's say, how do I say it? If if how do I say? It? Okay, if if you never went to a class ever in your life, and I put you in a class um, about American history. Right? Yeah. In no American politics. I put you in the class about American politics. People that are of the politics, people who created the politics, people who live every day in these politics, this all full circle that they've understood this. But you don't have a clue of what's going on. Does that make you smarter or does that make them ha- I mean, does that make them smarter or does that make them have an advantage? They have an advantage. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, we were stripped of everything that made us who we are. Mm -hmm. We were stripped of it. We were locked in cages. And we've been kept down and oppressed and kept from it for so long that we have forgotten our place. We've forgotten our place. And at the same time, how how do we beat them at their own game? Yeah. So... so it's like <clears throat> it's almost like since we started way back there and yeah. we're catching up on you, we've come we've come a we've come long, a long distance way. In y'all. It's like it's like trying to it's like me going out. I know how to play chess, but that's like me going to play Bobby Fisher in chess. Right. He is a master at chess. Right. But the more that I play with him, the more I understand. The more I further my knowledge on, okay, this is what I got to do to get to this point. This is what I got to do. Only if I allow myself to learn that. Right. And that's his game. Yeah. That's his game. And there's nothing you can do about it but try to figure out a way to come through the window when everybody's coming through the door. Yeah. You got to figure out a way to make it work. That's what black people are doing now. It's like the police are against us. The government is against yeah. us. The banks are against us. Yeah. Um, we are not nowhere near the majority. Like, that's what we deal with on a day-to-day basis. At the disadvantage. Exactly. The so disadvantage. who's to say who's to say who's more intelligent? Because you started here. I started down here, but I'm on your ass. Yeah. Now who's saying that you're more intelligent? That's not intelligence. You just been educated longer. Yeah, longer. And if I'm and if I'm catching up, you stagnant. Right. And there's something wrong with that. And uh, th- th- but this is the thing though. At the end of the day, it's still their game. No yeah. matter what we do, no matter how many times we beat them at it, it's still their game. Take somebody like Jay Z for example. This man came from nothing. Projects. Super intelligent. People would call him a genius. Super talented. All of this shit, but he's still not the co-founder of, I mean, the founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He's still not that because his starting point was so low to the point where it's their game. <laughs>